Hello ladies and gentlemen, as some of you may know, my name is Seth Hampton and it's a pleasure to see you today. We're going to be learning some things about me. I am a nerd, a dork, and quite honestly, I really love it. I was born March 12th, 1996, to Jessica Ann Uliberry and Kelly Lawrence Hampton. Uh, I was born in Provo, I grew up there for a little while. And then uh, my mother got divorced, and after that we moved up to Salt Lake. And then I met my real father. His name is Jason Baum. Speaking of Baum, let me show you where my family tree comes from. My mother's side and a little bit of my father's side is actually Basque. Basque is a mixture of Spain and France. It's uh, Right on the line, there's actually a mountain right there, actually, which both sides of my family actually come from the regional area, which is actually pretty nice. And then the other space is Germany, of course, and uh, that's a little bit of thing about me. I love video games. There's just so much fun, and uh, I've done quite a bit of studying, actually, about how the human mind will actually get a uh, release of chemical reactions in the human brain when you achieve something and that's why people love video games so much is the fact that they'll work so hard for something and then they get a reward and with that reward the brain releases chemicals which make you feel good so in all reality when people say they're addicted to video games in some cases that really can be the case my mother got remarried to Dusty Askin and he had a job actually in Japan so she married him we moved to Japan and I lived there for two years one of the most interesting times of my life I went to a normal Japanese school so it was just normal children like you and me but instead of English it was all Japanese it's very interesting uh, the most interesting piece of food that I ever had because I'm I love food I love to eat I love to cook I love everything about it the most interesting thing I ever had there that I can really remember apart from sushi was a thing called a takoyaki tako in Japanese means octopus and yaki is a pancake like batter substance and what you do is you get the batter substance and you put in octopus into it and a few other things and after that you put it in this cast iron skillet that's round and then when it fries to an extent you flip it so it's perfectly it's a perfect circle and I'll show you that here um, after that I moved back to the United States after my grandfather died my parents decided that it was high time that we get back with the family it was important um, I went to a charter school called the Open Classroom from my sixth grade year all the way to my eighth. And uh, that was my junior high experience, which some really good times. My high school experience has been phenomenal. I have been a student of Salt Lake School for the Performing Arts all my years of high school. This is my fourth and final year. And I wouldn't exchange it for any other experience. I am going into technical theater and that is what I've started going here for. That was what I uh, started off with and that's what I'm wanting to do. I am currently president of the Tech Conservatory which is an amazing experience and I'm, I feel very privileged by the fact that this is the first year actually and it's ever been made and I'm president of it. I. Uh, my freshman year, we didn't even have a tech program at SPA. We just took it through Highland High School. I'm a little bit old-fashioned, but I'm very technological savvy. I love electronics, taking them apart, making things, building stuff with my hands is what I really enjoy because of my grandfather. Because he taught me how to be a gentleman and a lot of other things. And without him, I wouldn't have been able to take those stepping stones to be the man who I am today, and I am going to always be thankful for him, and I love him very much, and I always feel like I'm very connected with him when I'm able to do technical theater or something that I get to use my hands with, and it's just 
a really nice experience. I love music. The current music that we're listening to right now underneath this <laughs> video is Blue October, Things We Do at Night. Um, I chose this one because you want to be somebody. Everyone wants to be somebody. You just have to make sure that no matter what you want to do is that you're happy that you're doing it and that you show people that. Because if you're happy and you can do it and you can show everyone else you can do that, then you've succeeded in life. It doesn't matter about wealth, which is very important, I will admit, but it doesn't matter as long as you're happy with the people you want to be happy with. Um, if I couldn't do technical theater as a career, I would like to go into law enforcement, if possible, I'd be a police officer, or if not that, I would like to be a firefighter. My uncles uh, are a firefighter and one of them is a police officer that works down at the prison. But like I said, I'm a giant nerd and I love YouTube and I absolutely adore Tumblr. Tumblr is a very amazing place if you know where to look. YouTube, I watch PewDiePie and uh, Megaminx. I think she's absolutely hilarious and I love everything she does. My uh, thing that I always have on my Christmas list, to be completely random with you, is a lockpick kit. Yeah, just to get something that I can get lockpicking with. I've always thought it was very entertaining and very interesting. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, I wish you all a very good day and hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.